How's it going everybody? In today's video, I'm going to show you some really, really old film. So for those of you who don't know me yet, I'm Jem and I make all sorts of weird videos. It's my first time to make a video about film photography because it's something I haven't done in over nearly a decade actually. Today when I went to pick up my two rolls of film, I dropped off another roll have been developed because I, since I shot like three pictures in the 120 film that I had developed, I thought like why, why, why don't I just open a new film? You know why? Because I have so much, hold on. So this is 120 film. It's just kind of bigger than 135. I hoarded a lot that all expired in 2009. Mm, I just, after I used up the 120 roll, shooting a couple of shots last week, have it developed, I was like, yeah, why don't I just pop open a new rule and why don't I just finish up this 2009 era 120 film? It's just sitting there rotting in my drawer. Like I said, I last shot film in 2011, but I never got those developed. I last properly had stuff developed in 2009, and what I did was I would 2008 2009, that was 10 years ago, I was only 28 then. So, what I like is have the lab develop them and I scanned them myself because I have a scanner. That's, that's it. It's much cheaper anyway to just have them develop these negatives. My scanner is a Canon 8000F and it can scan both 135 and 120 film. So we are both about to see the products of this really old film. And just like you, it's going to be my first time to see if, if it worked or not. I popped in the 120 first before this. I loaded the 35 and 120 just so you guys see how I scan, which is Basically, I just pop them in a film holder and pop them in the scanner. There's really nothing much to it. I don't, I don't know anything about the technicalities of developing film or anything. So now we're going to scan and see if stuff really came out or if it's hot garbage. Oh, I forgot to do the settings. So now I just basically scanned the entire scanner thing. As you can see, it scanned the plastic. I don't know. I'm supposed to. I, for, I forgot to do the settings. I use Canon scan gear software, but I'm pretty sure you can find whatever specialized scanner software. So you're supposed to choose the source as colored negative film. Well, well let, let's see what comes out of the preview. I don't really remember how to use it. It's going to basically be the same process for the 35 millimeter. I'll be scanning all the 120s before this. No reason, just my personal preference. Oh my god, would you believe it? Stuff came out. These are from so long ago, they're from Taiwan. Like, it's not. So, usually, what I like to do is I remove unsharp mask. I will just unsharp mask it in Photoshop. But I do click on remove dust and scratches, but I just set it to medium. This is very surprising, just the fact that stuff came out. This. Yeah, anyway. Um, I mean, they're not like amazing, oh, you know, change the world photography. It's just my own stuff. You know, I like shooting landscape, urban landscape, sorry, which basically means architecture. Well, I'm going to be scanning a bunch that's going to take all night. So after I scan all the 120s, I'm going to scan the 135 negatives and.
I shot the photos you just saw using this, this Fuji color one. And I used this camera. I bought this way back in 2003. The medium format film that I hoarded was this. So I have like, I think 15 left or something. So I, I guess I have one, one piece left of this Fuji color one. When I developed this last week, I opened a new roll of this and I finished it yesterday. When they texted me that my rolls are okay to pick up, I dropped off the one that I completed. That's what you saw in the intro when I was closing it. The next frames you're about to see are all 135 film. The 135 film were shot with a Kodak. This is with a Kodak Pro Photo. I don't have a sample to show you anymore because I don't have like a spare rule of this exact film. I use this camera to shoot these. So this is the next set you're about to see. They're from around 2011, 2012. I'm actually scanning them right now and I could see they, they did not turn out as okay as the stuff from the medium format Fuji. I, I, I could already see the previews. They're really bad. Just wanted to show you which cameras I used. So thank you for watching guys. I hope you found this video not so informative, but at least enjoyable to watch. If you like it, please leave a comment below if I should continue to shoot more film, if I should continue to make videos about film, or if my photo is just boring, or if this video is boring. Then we'll do our regularly scheduled programming of unboxings and weird other weird stuff. So anyway, thank you for watching. Check out my other social medias below. I'm going to be linking to them. And I'll see you next video.